Hi, Matt B here, M2M. Uh, first of all, before I go ahead with this video, I just want to thank you, the viewers, for sticking around with me. Um, I know I changed my format recently, um, and it's quite a lot different uh, to what I, content I used to do going back a year or so ago. So um, I really, really appreciate you coming to view the videos and sticking with me. Um, I'm not monetizing my channel, so it's all free to use. I'm doing this as a hobby, um, so I hope you can uh, enjoy what, I, uh, what I'm sharing. Uh, so also as well, if you're new to the channel, please click below, click on the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Oh, also hit on the bell icon so then you'll be notified when um, I upload some more videos. Um, but above all, the best thing you can do actually for me is comment below. Uh, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about this person. And uh, just let me, let me know if I can improve anything. So what's this video about? Well, again, it's about Level Earth Observer or Adam. And he's making a bit of a pathetic attempt at debunking the uh, James Webb Space Telescope, as I'm about to explain. So let's play the credits and see what it's about. Okay, so here's the video in question. Uh, as I said, Level Earth Observer, entitled Flat Earth, the James Webb Space Telescope exposes itself. Well, as I'm just about to show you, um, Level Earth Observer, or Adam, is about to expose himself as a liar, or an idiot, or both, probably both. Um, so anyway, let's get into the video and let's see what he's got to say about James Webb. So I'm going to have a quick look at the James Webb Space Telescope, which is the successor, supposedly, to the Hubble Space Telescope. This gets launched, supposedly, later on this year. James Webb Space Telescope. So far, so good. Yeah, it's going to be due to be launched uh, uh, October and November, I think. I'll have to check that later. We've got the usual cartoons. Instruments on the James Webb Space Telescope. So. Not only is it a space telescope, but it would seem we've got four new instruments on this space telescope. The near cam, the near spec, the MIRI. Well, they're not new because the, the whole James Webb Space Telescope is new itself. So they haven't put anything new on it. This is what they plan to put on from very early on. And the FGS. OK, so it would seem not only is the James Webb a, ta a space telescope, but it would seem it's got four new instruments. Okay, so just please note uh, what the instruments actually are. Um, they're all involving, if you, as, you, as you notice, if you read each one, is infrared, near infrared camera, near infrared spectrograph, mid infrared instrument, fine guidance sensor, and near infrared imager and uh, slitless spectrograph. Okay, so it's all to do with near infrared, and this is what James Webb is mostly about, all about the near infrared range. Instruments on there to make it better than the Hubble. Of course, a lot of people who visit this channel will be fully aware that a lot of the imagery that we get sighted that supposedly comes from Hubble will, of course, be aware that it actually comes from the 747 aeroplane with a telescope on that many of us know as Sophia. Uh, yes, yeah, Sophia is, um, yeah, is a real thing, uh, but no. Uh, the images that we got, the Sophia is not capable of producing the same level of instruments that they have from Hubble. Not even close. Not even close. And that kind of got me thinking, with the announcement of this James Webb and this new spec they've got here on this telescope, and of course with me knowing about Sophia, and of course Sophia being responsible. Just about a show, he actually doesn't know much about Sophia, to be honest with you. He might know of it, but he doesn't know anything about it, um, and that's quite clear. Responsible for a lot of the imagery, imagery we see that comes supposedly from Hubble. That got me thinking. I wonder, I wonder, has the Sophia got a new upgrade package lined up here that would potentially do the job of the James Webb Space Telescope? Remember, we've got four new instruments on this. Not new. 
James Webb Space Telescope as well as the telescope itself. Should we have a look? Should we see if the Sophia's got any new upgrades planned for this year that might tie in time-wise with his James Webb Space Telescope? Here we go. He's just going. He's going to say it, isn't he? He's going to say it. Let's have a look. Let's go. Let's have a look. Bingo. <laughs> So this is this is his uh, gotcha moment, um, but I'm going to show in a minute that he's actually been pretty dishonest. Um, so you'll see. So let's let's let him have his, let's have, let him have his uh, couple of minutes of glory. <laughs> and strangely enough, when we come here, the Universities of Space Research Association, we see Sophia is due a massive upgrade. Sophia upgrading one of a kind camera. Yeah, yeah, they're upgrading it. Yeah, they are. We scroll down here. Sophia is upgrading the high resolution. Right, notice that he stops scrolling. This is as far as he goes. Just make a note of that. Solution Airborne Wideband Camera Plus. With four new detectors. Remember that. Four new detectors that will allow it to study magnetic fields in distant galaxy four times faster than its current rate. But if we think back just now to James Webb. Make a note, like I said, he did say it himself, four new detectors that were allowed to study magnetic fields. The spec on that space telescope, what made it better than Hubble, it had four new instruments, didn't it? Do you remember? Bear with me. Yeah, we do. We do remember, Adam. Yeah, because it was only like a minute ago. <laughs> Here, this was the four new instruments on the James Webb Space Telescope. Yeah, as was said, just pointed out, near infrared, near infrared, mid infrared, and fine garnet sensor near infrared. What's it got to do with what you're talking about? Are those the instruments that are going to be upgraded? Nothing. Telescope, which is going to make it so much better than the Hubble tele space telescope. And then, of course, we come. Yeah, there it is. Magnetic fields. Nothing to do with nothing to do with near infrared, though, is it? <laughs> back to the Sophia with its new upgrade of its camera this year and of course with four new detectors yeah four new de detectors to study magnetic fields not near infrared they're not the same sensors essentially thus giving it game away really <laughs> the Sophia upgrades it would seem are exactly the same as the spec of the James Webb Space Telescope. Except they're not, because you've just debunked yourself. It's got nothing to do with infrared. The ones for Sophia for magnetic, to study magnetic fields. What's that got to do with viewing, viewing stuff in near infrared and mid infrared range? <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> the Sophia gets its upgrade later this year into next year. The James Webb is scheduled to be sent into space at the end of this year right but here this is this is where he's actually this is where he's actually lying right because i've actually found the article this exact same article and as i said before did you note that you didn't scroll down so here's the article right if you scroll down a little bit further it talks about the upgrades and where is it where's the date that it's going to be is going to be upgraded uh where is it is it somewhere there we go the upgrade is expected to be completed by 2023 Oh dear, but you said it was going to be upgraded later this year. But you didn't scroll down to that bit though, Adam, did you? <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. I mean, he only scrolled down to what, where it says about uh, Margaret Minxner, the director. And he stopped. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I suppose you've got to lie to Fleurf, haven't you? Anyway, let's go around to the, um, into the more of the article. It talks about what the different upgrades are. But it's got absolutely nothing to do with the James Webb Space Telescope, is it, Adam? Nothing to do with it whatsoever. So you got the date wrong, and they're completely different detectors. The only thing you've got is it's the same number of detectors. What does that prove? Four and four. Oh, dear, Adam. Anyway, let's just see what else he's got to say. Not much else, to be honest, but let's have his little bit of uh, glory, shall we? and will be operational over the next year or so. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. The timelines are exactly the same. Wrong, 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 wrong. 
team the spec is exactly the same wrong 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 four sensors to add to the space telescope that the james webb space telescope is to make it so much better than the hubble but at the same time sophia which of course most of us know is the hubble anyway is getting wrong 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 in an upgrade to its camera with four new detectors oh wow you realize that there's the same number well done adam but that's all you've got they not nothing to do with each other at all you can't make this stuff up They're no, you can't, can you, Adam? But you just did. You just made it all up. <laughs> telling you it. They're literally telling you. And showing you. We know this anyway. But it comes very obvious when you compile this information and the time, the timelines give it away. Yeah, but some of the timelines, you, you just completely lied about the timelines, Adam. I've just showed. It's the same article. There it is again. Oh, dear. Upgrade to expect to be completed by 2023. <laughs> Two years after after um after James Webb was launched. Oh dear, how oh sad. Never mind. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Adam, you've been caught lying, Adam. And oh dear me. Well, Adam, your video, this pathetic video, has just been burned.